Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells something to the mother of Musa that every single one of us can learn from. He tells her, Ardi'ih, nurse your child. And when you think of nursing your child, you think of connection, you think of intimacy, you think of emotion, building a very you know, sacred bond between the mother and the child. When you nurse, you feel this you know, instant connection. But then subhanAllah, Allah says, Alqih. Right, that if you're afraid of him, فألقيه, then throw him. And at that point, you would tell yourself, as a mother, isn't it easier if I'm going to eventually let him go? Wouldn't it be easier for me not to breastfeed, not to nurse him and make this connection with him? I would rather make it easier on myself and not nurse, not build this intimate bond between him and rather just throw him right away if I'm going to let him go anyway. Shouldn't I make it easier on my emotions and not nurse? But subhanAllah, out of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's infinite wisdom for us, we know right now in the story, which perhaps she didn't know, that that connection that she would have in nursing would be the reason for reconnection. Right? Sometimes we take the easier path thinking that it's better for us in the long run. But going through the easier path doesn't necessarily mean that it's better for you in the end. And this is what we see, that her going through this connect and disconnect for Allah's sake, that compensated her in ways beyond imagination. And that's why subhanAllah, what does Allah say? In the ma'al usri yusra, that with hardship comes ease. You might say, well, I'm putting myself in a harder position, but that harder position for Allah that you might be having to do, might be the reason Allah facilitates ease for you in unimaginable ways. And Allah also says in the end of Surah Al-Ankabut, the last verse, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا That those who traverse and struggle in the path of Allah, Allah will guide them into ease in ways for Him. Right? وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And Allah is with those who are building for Him working on excelling for him, doing what they can in the best of their capability, Allah is with them. Imagine that ma'iyah, that holding, that Allah being with you through it, just like he was with the mother of Musa. So that connect to disconnect ended up in the best reunion for her. And this is something really powerful for us to ponder. And subhanAllah, just pausing on that verse, أرضعي Nurse him and then throw him. There's so much for us to ponder in this because sometimes we have to do hard things and may Allah be with us through them. And this is what trusting in Allah's plan means that you are willing to connect and instantly disconnect from what you connected to for him knowing, Ya Allah, I trust your plan more than my own because you are the all-wise and my wisdom is nothing compared to yours. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us build this tawakkul in him just as the mother of Musa did. Ameen, ya Rabbi Alameen.